Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I switched over my application that was using local storage to using cookies for storing the JWT token. So right here I have the React application up and I basically am adding one little option to my network interface for the Apollo client. So this is using GraphQL and I'm using Apollo to send GraphQL queries and in here I'm just saying options credentials include and what that'll do is it'll actually automatically send the cookie to the server when it's making requests. And you'll notice how I got rid of um, afterware and beforeware for the network interface because I no longer need it. Cookies are automatically sent to the server for me, which is super nice. So this is the only thing I added to the client is just this little options flag. Now over here I have the server. The server I had to do a few more changes. So here, the first thing I had to grab another package called Cookie Parser. This allows me to parse the cookies and read them in and use them um, in the Express application. And I have that down here. I'm saying app.useCookieParser, then I have add user. You also notice I changed how the cores works. I used to have a star here, and now I changed that to the origin. The, um, this is where the star would be. I changed that to the actual localhost 3001. This is um, where my client is running on, and that's important for sending the cookie. And I said credentials true. Um, that's so it can read and send the cookie, okay. And then in my add user, I changed how that worked. Now instead of reading from a header, we're reading from the cookies. This cookies object gets put there because we are parsing the cookies, thanks to our cookie parser we have right here so we can access it from rec.cookies.token and we're doing the same kind of check if a token was not passed in we say next otherwise we come in here we can read the token from the cookies we get a refresh token and then actually send a cookie back to the user whenever we want to refresh the cookie we say res.cookie and res is for response and we set the token here now important I'm using HTTP only cookies that way on the client side um, if I have some malicious JavaScript running, it cannot change um, my cookie. So we have that. I'm also setting the max age. The max age here is seven days to match how long the refresh token should last. Um, and that is how I'm setting the cookie and sending it back. And if I come in here to my resolvers, you'll also see I have my login. I'm setting the cookie here and I'm saying res.cookie token res.cookie refresh token I'm passing in the tokens and saying HTTP only cookie as well so that is how it's working now I want to show you this in action how this works so right here I have the application running so on localhost 3001 here's the cookies pull up you can notice it's all blank um, but if I type in my login we go ahead and run it you notice how the cookies are automatically put here for us this is, we're not doing actually any JavaScript um, to put this here. JavaScript actually can't access this because we made an HTTP only cookie. When we have our resolver that was getting run for login, this res.cookie here, we're sending a cookie back and that's placed right here in our cookies. That's what's doing it for us. Um, so that's really nice, we don't have to do that. And then next thing is if I wanna go to now an authenticated place and actually, I can show you guys the request itself and that'll make sense as well. So this is the request, it's a post request. You can see in the response headers, it says set cookie, set cookie. Um, that's coming from the express server and that's why these things are populated. Okay, so let's now try to hit an authenticated endpoint. So book slash one, um, I'm sending over the token um, which is then used to authenticate this request and then serve this page because you need to be authenticated to be here. And uh, yeah, so then these tokens are used for authentication and they will automatically refresh thanks to the code we have over here with that. So that is it for this video, guys. That is how I change it to use cookies instead of local storage. In the next video, I will be doing double submit cookies which uses the local storage as well as cookies to make it more secure. Um, the code for this is up on GitHub and I'll have the link in the description below. Thanks for watching guys.